All right, guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. Hope you guys are all having a great day. Currently, it's 3.13 a.m. for me right now. I've been waiting for the past hour and 15 minutes to get this update on PS4. The update is already out on PC, and apparently it's already out on Xbox as well, so I don't understand why it's not out for PS4 already. And of course, I'm gonna have to deal with copying, and then the update is 30 gigs, bro. I'm lucky that I have a six terabyte external hard drive for this PS4, man, because this game's gonna be pushing at least half of a terabyte by the end of its life cycle. But anyways, we just got the ghost pack called contingency right here man and let me tell you man we got one of the dopest melee weapons in the game right here it's called the ghost dance now look at this thing this is identical to the mw2 tactical knife now i'm not entirely sure if it looks identical to the throwing knife i'm pretty sure it looks just like the throwing knife as well but i know for a fact that it looks exactly like the tactical knife that i used to use on the usp back in the day I'm actually 50 COD points off of getting this bundle. That's, that's stupid, man. Let me go and purchase this bundle, then we're gonna hop into a match and check out this melee weapon in game. I'm just, I'm honestly so excited to use it. Um, here quickly, I just wanna say something about this execution. Infinity Ward, you guys messed up. You should have done something with the tactical knife. You even have the knife in his hand right here. You stab him and then you shoot him. You should have stabbed him just with the tactical knife. Because I can't use this execution, man. It, it sucks. But I think they could have done so many cooler things. Maybe like stabbed him with the knife and then threw the throwing knife at him and hit him in the head or something. That would have that been so cool. But I guess this outfit looks pretty cool as well. And uh, we're about to purchase this, man. And the only reason why I'm getting this is because of this melee weapon. This is hands down, like I said, the coolest one we've got so far. So let me go and get 50 more COD points and uh, I'll purchase the bundle. All right, man. The bundle is purchased. All right, man, so here is the Ghost Dance MW2 Tactical Knife right here on my class. And uh, let's go and check out Gold Camo and everything like that on this weapon. So this is what Gold Camo looks like. This is what Platinum, and for all the people that keep saying, how do you have Damascus when you're knifing only? I don't know why it's still glitched on my account. It just is. I got the uh, the knife gold early in this game, and it was glitched out from there on until now. I haven't killed anybody with guns. You guys know that. But people still comment that. I don't get it. Anyway, this is what Obsidian looks like on it as well, but we're just going to be going with the bear uh, throwing knife, tactical knife look today for the video, just so you guys can get a good look at the melee weapon when we hop into a match. So without further ado, let's hop into a match and check out this thing, man. Alright, man, let me see this knife. Come on. Let me drop in. Let me see this knife. Oh my god, dude, that thing looks so sexy. I know I'm having a nerdgasm right now. Just look at the man. I wish I could inspect this melee weapon, bro. Why? Why is there no inspect element in this game? That's something they need to add to this Call of Duty, man. MW2 Remastered had an inspect element, but this one doesn't. It makes quite literally no sense. But to be completely honest with you guys, man, I'm so glad they added this in here with the ghost bundle. It ties in the nostalgia perfectly, man. It really, it really does. Okay, he's over there in the corner. Shank, bro. Come on, don't turn around. Don't turn around. Hello, how you doing? And teammate took the other guy out. Go. No. Oh, ah, there's so many people over there, man. Go. Go over there, 100%. Nope. What? You got to be kidding me. Thank you. Let's say if I died to that dude, that would have been a little bit ridiculous. Wow! Just holding this knife in my hand is giving me the nostalgic feeling that I'm playing MW2 right now. Trust me, if you buy this knife and you rock it, you're gonna be feeling the same way I am. Oh, wow. I was not expecting him to pull up like that. Come on. <laughs> uh, that was annoying. No one else back here? Popping the dead silence, I'm getting around this way. Hopefully I can flank in behind a few people. Or not, that works too. He is most definitely going to hear me. Come on. There we go. Got you. I got him dead. No. Oh. Oh, what? No. Okay. It works. Got him. Anybody else? Yep, one more. Anybody else? No one? Oh, I'm going to shot in the back. I'm gonna shot in the back from so many different angles. Oh, your boy got play of the game here. What did I do? Nothing too impressive. Oh, this is where I got stuck on the pole and died. I was already running into uh, to crates and stuff anyways. <laughs> uh, 22 and 11. Eh. Yeah. 
Hey, you fucking twat. Stop throwing smoke, dude. What the fuck? The <laughs> Yo, that's great. Alright, man. Um, wait. How am I running around but the countdown timer still going? What's going on here? I can secure the point? Yo, what type of glitch is this? You gotta love the early update glitches, bro. What is going on? That makes literally no sense. I'm running before the game even started. This guy doesn't understand. Yeah, I don't I don't get it either, bro. I really don't. Oh, I got the update. I finally got the update, dude. All right, so the game is fully downloaded and copied, and it's around like 7 a.m. right now. And, uh, you know, I'm not going to lie. I watched a little Netflix while it was copied and everything like that, and I fell asleep. So anyways, I'm ready to hop into some hard hat and try this map out and check out this knife a little more. So let's go ahead and hop into a match and see what hard hat's looking like on Modern Warfare. You know, now that I think about it, I'm pretty sure this map was a lot of people's favorite map in MW3 aside from like Dome. Obviously, everybody yeah, liked Dome that, you know, played that game because it was pretty much the nuke town of that game, you know? But to be completely honest, I was never impressed by this map. I don't know why. I know a lot of people love this map, but I just, I was never impressed by it. You guys can already know my favorite map from that game. My favorite map was hands down Sea Town, bro. Sea Town was a great map for knifing, and I love that map so much. Also, just let me know down below in the comment section what your favorite map actually was. Cause I'm assuming there's gonna be a lot of random responses, maybe like an arcade in or like a, you know, Carbon or something. You know, Carbon was actually pretty good for knifing. I thought it was pretty solid, you know? Wasn't the best map I've ever played for anything, but it was it was pretty fun. It's pretty solid to play. Overall, this map isn't horrible. I don't think I could say any map from MW3 was was horrible. Maybe maybe downturn, but you know there wasn't too many maps that I could say was actually horrible from that game. Which I'm glad. MW3 was a MW3 was a good COD. I can I can say that MW3 was a good COD with confidence, but I just didn't enjoy it during that time because I went back and played a lot of Black Ops 1 because I was just a, I was a Black Ops fanboy, you know, and I've always been a Black Ops fanboy. And just in general, I've always loved Treyarch games. This has always been better for me. Oh wow, almost died there. I right, see. Let's see if we can get out of here. Dying. Oh, no one's there. That's surprising. I'm get around the corner and take out that dude. Throw a knife. Oh, I thought I heard a dude behind me. Maybe I'm mistaken. There we go. Oh, they're most definitely still over here. Oh, I'm surprised I actually got him. Oh, my dead silence and he ducked my freaking throwing knife bro but overall i'm just glad they didn't mess up this map man with the remakes they've done so far with like backlot for example like you know it's fun it's good right it's good for this game compared to the other maps that are actually in this game but they really did kind of mess it up in a way and also like rust and you know just shipment they just they've messed up so many remade maps in this game because they did too freaking much, bro. And they didn't do that with this map, and I, I'm so happy that they didn't. It's fine to change the look of the map, but not the entire flow of how that map works and everything like that, you know? You wanna keep that as, as true as you possibly can. So when you start messing with the flow and stuff of maps, it's just it's just not good, it just really isn't. <laughs> I said shoot it down, fuckers. <laughs> That's great, man. Oh, they're angry on the enemy team. That boy is not having a good game. Really? Before I can even get a knife off, this guy destroys me with what? A 725? That's crazy how this game, like, you literally get destroyed before you can even get a knife off. Just a swing. God, his reaction time must be on a thousand. Got Mr. Cowboy back. <laughs> this guy's angry. What does he say? Okay, somebody is not happy, bro. <laughs> Anyways, man, that's hard hat. You were these guys only. <laughs> that's great. That's a perfect. But you went zero and seven. That's why he's so angry. Yo, that's phenomenal. That's a great way to end the video. That is the new um, you know, knife in Modern Warfare. I think it's dope. You guys should definitely cop it if you're looking to get a new knife to put um, on your class setup. And so uh, that was hard hat. I, like I said, I enjoyed playing it. It was, it was fun. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to drop a like down below as well. Subscribe if you are brand new to the channel and I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.